and these young ladies, I, 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 it, 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 it was, it was, it was terrible because when God delivered me, I had already sold the seed of false hope in these young ladies. So when God connected me and Marshall together, I had already damaged you know, this false hope of seeds in these young ladies. So the next time they found out, they found out that me and Marshall was getting married. Hmm. And they was like, what? I mean, they was caught. I don't know how some of them got my phone number. <laughs> they called my phone number and asked me, is it true you and Marshall getting married? I'm like, yeah, who is this? Who is this? Well, this is so-and-so. Well, how you got my number? Well, I got ways and couldn't find out it was drama. They was getting number. They was getting information from me personally to go back and tell the young young ladies or whoever it was who was interested in me. So now I had a big mess. So I had to apologize to a lot of I them. I made him. I said you, you know to apologize. I'm sorry. I, I should have. I misled you. I was wrong. I should have never did that. Um, I, I I thought maybe you and I we could just talk and just be sister and brother and that's it. No, uh-uh. See, I didn't understand the damage that I was doing to these young ladies. You know? And, and, and I know he I, was misleading them. He I didn't know that. Casual, I was just having conversation. Ca casual conversation. Exactly what was happening. And you know what? Whether I told them or not, it doesn't matter. The, the fact of the matter is that if they was interested in me, they had already pictured in their mind that they it, it could be a possible chance that we can have it can be further more than just conversation and just a friendly thing. They they probably was in their heart thinking, you know, this could be the one. And he he's talking to me all the time. That. And that's basically what was going on. So I didn't even realize that until until she explained that to me. So then that man had to go back and apologize to some of these. So some of them I couldn't even get in contact with. You know, and if those of you who are watching this video, if you gonna watch the video, I just want to say I'm sorry. I apologize. You know, I was wrong. Stupid joker. Just stupid. You know, forgive my brother. Forgive my brother. You know. I was in a relationship. No, I wasn't. It wasn't a relationship. Hmm. Was it a relationship, baby? I don't think so. But let's say yes. It was a relationship. Um, and we were we were seeing each other in this particular this guy. And I think this was the only guy that I, I saw longer than a day or two. I wanna say it wasn't even a month we were actually talking. What and I was I was listening to other people. <laughs> vanilla. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, he was Vanilla. And I was listening to other people. And I had my little preferences, you know. I, I, I don't discriminate. I like, I like what I like. And I felt like, I won't say pressured, but I did feel like I didn't want to judge anyone based on what I, you know, whatever. But fast forward... We realized, we both of us, you know, children of God, we realized, listen, we need to find out if this is truly God's will for us to be together. Well, that wasn't a relationship. And, I don't think so. Okay. So, in that, two people who love the Lord decided to come together and just say, you know what, God? We're going to fast. It was his idea. All his idea. Thank now, you. Now, Thank mind you. you, I've been praying the whole time. I was praying before. And for some reason, I, I didn't get that clarity yet. I needed some confirmation. I hadn't got it yet. So I continued to go out with him, you know, here and there or whatever. We would go out to eat. We would continue to, you know, talk at, you know, at the church, at the building. So I remember doing the fast. He said, that's fast for three days. And let's find out if, this, if we're supposed to be together. And after those three days, we're going to come together and see, you know, what God said to him, what God said to me. In the process of that, I asked God, I said, God, I need you to send somebody to me. Someone who does, they don't know about this situation as far as us fasting, but I need a confirmation. Check this out. God sent this lady to me. Love her dearly. Don't say her name now. I was getting ready to say her don't name. Don't say her name. I say her first and last. Don't, no, no, you're not. You ain't got to go okay. there. You ain't got to okay. go there. We already this, know. This young lady... Sent, she told me, she said, Marsha, I need to talk to you. And we mm -hmm. met at um, McDonald's somewhere. I can't remember. And We love you. We you do. know who you are. And so she said, God told me to tell you he is not your husband. Mm. And my heart was beating. I was like, oh, my God. See, when you ask, you have to make a choice. Yeah. God is telling you. Yeah. yeah. This is a young lady 
she didn't she was an older young lady just loved the lord wise i respect her dearly she said god showed her that he was you know not the one i won't go into details he was not the one he was not my my husband and if i continue this relationship i will get hurt that's exactly mm. what she told me that's all the confirmation i needed after those three days i could i mean prior to those three days i kept praying Thanking God, had peace in my heart. Okay, I know God has told him too. See, he's a child of God too. God has told him too. I'm not his wife. Yeah. So this is going to be awesome. Yeah. So after I, after I three day fast, he calls me early in the morning. I mean, five, six o'clock in the morning. Well, he wait, <laughs> you, that's the man. That's a man, boy. He want this bad. He want this bad. You ain't going to tell him. Uh-uh. You ain't going to tell him nothing different. So... That's he, a man, he, man. He calls me. Stupid man. We, and we, we decided stupid, to man. talk. And he was like, okay, well, what did God tell you? And I said, well, what did God tell you? And I, and I told him prior to the three-day fast, I mm. said, may the best God win. Mm, may the best God win. Because <laughs> yes, everybody, everybody God is different. Everybody's everybody, relationship with God is different. That was awesome. May the best so God I said, win. may the best God win. I told you. So he was like, what do you mean by that? I said, just understand, may the best God win. Because she knew who her God was. <laughs> but do you know who your God is? Because your God can be yourself. So we were talking and he was like, okay, I'm calling that, you know. you know." He was excited, you guys. I was like, okay, maybe he excited you folks because he know God has spoken to him. No, nah, that joker wanted you. So That joker wanted you. Watch what I'm saying, I'm about to kiss you. You got to get up there. You got to cut that out now. Get close to me like that if you want to. We on this camera. Huh? So... He, he proceeded to ask me, what did God say? And I proceeded to say, well, what did God tell you? He said, no, 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 ladies first. So I told him, I said, okay, well, God told me you were not my husband. Mm. And that we need to, you know, let this go. He won't and that. that. I, and that I was in the way of your wife. If we continue this, it, it's oh, not no. going to, it's not, it's going to end up really bad. So it was silent on the phone. He want to hear that, y'all. And I mean? said, I said, hello? And he didn't say anything. Okay. And I said, and I called his name. I almost called his name. I called his name. I said, are you there? He was like, yeah, I'm here. The tone had changed. Yeah. The attitude yeah. was cold. Yeah. He was like, well, that's not what God told me. Mm. And I said, well, what did God tell you? God told me you were my wife. Are you sure you got this right? I said, no, 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 no. I'm positive. I am 100% positive. This guy took all my pictures. Mm. Gave them all back to me. Mm. He was mad now. Everything he, he had, mad. Everything he gave me, yeah. he wanted it back. Yeah, he mad. So this is this is more confirmation because yeah. even if as a child of God, That's right. there's a way you should still respond That's to me right. as your sister like, in Christ. You know what, sis? You so are this is another confirmation. You. There you go. I respect your wishes. This, okay, I respect right what God now, has been right. with you about. Even if I, just say if I was wrong. Let's yeah. say I was wrong. Right. And he right. was right. You know what? I'm going to let God continue to deal with you. Yeah. I'm going to exactly. back away. That's right. I'm going to continue right. to pray. And whenever God is ready for us to be together, right. That's if, right. if, 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 he's, if, it's out, if it's his will, we'll come back. That's right. There's a whole he would have the confidence. He would, yeah, he the, would have the, the response confidence. would have been totally yeah. different. Uh -huh. Oh, he was upset. Yeah. He was mad. You yeah. understand me? He was mad. That and means that, that that means that his whole agenda and his his way of doing it his way and him choosing what he wanted to do and choose who he wanted, she not God knocked them plans right there. And down. let me tell you, it wasn't even it wasn't even a year. Come on, man. Maybe what six happened? months. What happened? What happened? He was getting married to somebody. He was getting married to somebody. See that? See, you, see, you see what I'm saying? That's why women, let me tell you something. A child of God has power. A, a, especially a, a, listen, now, listen. Now, don't take this the wrong way. Be careful. Don't take this the wrong way. Brothers and, and ladies, don't take this the wrong way. Say women, go ahead and say women have a special, a special intuition power. To respond to God quicker than a man. I, I'm being honest. Because a man nature. Remember it all. It started way back in the garden. When God gave man authority. When he gave Adam authority. To name all the animals. That instituted 
authority of pride. If if you can understand what I'm saying, right? Okay. Okay. So it's hard to break a man from that. So when a man makes his mind up on something that he believes it is, he will ride and die with that thing. Mm -hmm. It would be hard to change his mind, but not impossible. Because God can break that thing. God can say, okay, listen, since you want to keep doing that, well, this is what I'm going to do. Have you ever been in a situation where you've seen a man the way he just would not give up what he believed in? And God dog on, I mean, everybody can see that he keep running into the same wall and the wall he keep continuing to run into. <laughs> God dog on, everybody keeps saying, the man, stop running in that wall. It's not, the wall ain't going to move no more. He really believed that wall is going to move. But the wall is not going to move. He can be doing that for the next 15, 25, 30 years and the wall still ain't moved yet. That's how... Deep this thing run with pride. Women have a special intuition of obeying and hearing God's voice compared to a man. Because when she a, has. When she has a relationship with God. Thank you. Okay? When she has a not relationship no pretend, not no play, with play, God play, now. Not no religion. Because she goes, she's not going off of emotion. It's something that is attached in her. You know. So that's why I'm saying I got to be careful with that because not saying a man does not have a relationship with God. If he has a relationship with God and he's not full of his his pride to lead and guide himself, he can hear God clearly. Now. Absolutely. He I can hear God clearly. But when a man makes up his mind to pursue something and God and God didn't tell him to pursue it and he wants to pursue it because that's what he likes, he is walking in pride and it's going to be hard to convince him that he's wrong. You see what I'm saying? But if God, if, if he's walking in the direction of God, you know, and not pride, then whatever you tell him, he knows uh -uh, this is what God said. Because remember we talked about you and I? And I was like, oh, no, no, no. No, I already know. Okay, yeah, okay. You go ahead and move the bottom over if you want to. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go move the bottom over. Watch how God worked this thing out the way you, we will be married. Why? Because God told me who my wife was. So that's See. why it's it's very. I mean, it really goes deep when you when you start involving other people's emotions. Yes, and they're they're even compromising sometimes your relationship with God. Getting involved with someone that doesn't belong to you. Yeah. We talked about this exactly, and that's what opens up doors when you date. Yeah. I believe right. in my opinion. In my opinion, it does. It does. When I was dating. This man was already emotionally attached. I was already he ready to get married, his boy. wife. I, yeah. I mean, so the same thing with women yeah. can happen to the man yeah. too. Yep. So his relationship with God was totally different from mine. Yep. And he was already in his mind walking down the aisle yep. with me. Yep. Exactly. And I had to be the strong one yep. in the spirit to say, no. That's right. And then once I got out of the way. Now he's married mm -hmm. with children. Yep. I'm praying happily married yeah. with children. And yet, had I not heard from God, I could have been standing in the way of his blessing. That's right. And also, man, you could be standing in the, in way, the way of, of her, her blessing. blessing. That's right. Who God really intended for her to be right. a wife to. Exactly. So yep. sometimes yep. we can we can stand in the way of our blessing. blessing. Because we're pursuing something that God never told exactly. us to pursue. Exactly. You are dating someone based on what you want to do because you feel you feel that this is the one you ain't being directed by god you ain't been told that god told you so and so no you want to do this because this is what that that person you know she meet your qualifications or he meets your mm -hmm. qualifications so you like that you like what they are right. i mean that's all and man i, I do want to share something with you guys when God told me to stop dating, because he did, he told me, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm going to send you your husband, but you're going to have to wait. And I had to wait 10 years, you guys. 10 years. And within those 10 years, it, it wasn't easy. Yes, you know, guys was coming and I had to say no. And I was like, okay, God, you know, what, what do I do now? He was like, date me. Get to know me. All right, now. Date Find me. out who I am. Yeah. Find out what, what I like. So that you can do what I what I like. Oh, yeah. That's what I like. <laughs> I, I couldn't compete with God. <laughs> so and when and when you have that relationship with God and during that time, understand this is the time that you're becoming the the Miss Right. Mm -hmm. So you, you're trying to be Miss Right before Mr. Right come. And in order for you to be Miss Right, you have to be guided by your dad. Yeah. 
He's preparing you for the guy he already has set aside for you. Exactly. So he knows exactly what he needs to do in you and through you to get you ready for him. And the same thing goes for men as well. Yeah. Um, but I remember uh, when I was going through that, that transition of um, not dating any, anyone during my period of waiting, there was a book. And I, I thought I had the book and I really want to show you the book, but I'm going to show you a, a, a copy of it. Um, in this video, but it was by Joshua Harris, and some of you may be familiar with this book, and it was called I Kiss Dating Goodbye. Goodbye, baby. And I want you to, it, please, if you have not read that book, I encourage you to please purchase the book. You can or go, you can just re, re, uh, re, uh, put this video in again and just rewatch it again. <laughs> Anyway, this, is a, this is the dog on book. It's, too. it's another resource that you guys can go to. I'm just saying. I'm gonna put the um a link in the description box. Click that link. Look at the um the preview of it's it. Look at all of the information in regards to that book. So and if you have the book, if you so already read the book, you know, let me know what you think about the book. Mm -hmm. Or you can purchase the book. Just click the link um below. Also, I have some more books. I'm throwing you off. Um, you no, you're not. And this is by Miles Monroe called Waiting and Dating. And this one here is called Boundaries of Dating. And I will also put the links in the description box. Don't okay, date. Um, but I want you to Don't kind date. of see the, the, the ideal of other people's perspective, perspective and their yeah. theology and right. their thoughts about dating. Right. And th these are... These are you know, books that are written by children of God, um, different ministries. So it's supposed to, they're all supposed to be biblically principle based. But I really want you to kind of see, because I've read them and I took the approach of Joshua Harris. And there was one thing that I remember out of that book. And he said, the right thing uh -oh. at the wrong time Come on now. is the wrong thing. And that entire Ooh. book, if I don't remember anything in that book, I, I remember no that. I ain't got no money. He said the right thing mm. at the wrong, wrong time, time is the wrong, wrong thing. thing. And that's what we have to understand. That if it's not your time to get married, right. then why are we dating? That's if right. it's not your time that's for right. God to send your mate, why, why are, are we you dating? dating? That's right. What's the purpose? If that person is not going to be a part of your future, why are you dating? Why are you getting entangled? Why are you getting connected? For what? It's a waste of time. So yeah. It's the same thing when it comes to dating. The only person you, I believe we should be dating is God himself. Yeah. And then when he sends you your, your wife, when he sends you that one, you will know. And then once he connects you, then you guys are preparing for marriage. Yeah, you're courting it's like, now. It's yeah. like it's clockwork. Courtship. Yeah, it's, it's not courtship. a. And this is us. I don't believe in long relationships. If God told you that's your your wife, that's your husband. What, what you waiting? What, what we waiting for? Yeah, because we didn't date. What happened with us is that God connected us together. He dealt with her, her heart, to receive me. And then as time went on, you know, because she said she prayed that God would basically kill that feeling in her because she didn't want to be the one to go pursue because she felt truly strongly that a woman should not be pursuing the man, you know, which in regards is, is, is true. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you got to understand this. While he was dealing with her, he was dealing with me. So when he brought everything together and put it in that bowl. We already knew. We already was confirming and he was already dealing with both of us. And he already lined it up for us to talk on the phone for the first time. After the hookup. After the <laughs> hookup. For us, really in the process. Of, yeah, because we didn't really. When we talked on the phone. The first time is when I got her phone number and I asked the individual who he know who he is because I needed to get in touch with her because my main objective is that I want to ask the question. And for those what who haven't seen, that, see if in if me? You haven't seen that video, please check that video out. It's a whole other Has video. Has God ever dealt with you about so, me? So, so even with that being said, 
after all the confirmation was made, that's when we were, she was ready to receive me. She was ready to accept. Then we start courting. We didn't date. We didn't have to try to figure out whether or not we're really supposed to be together or not. Because we already had confirmation from Because we already had confirmation. That's, what's that? That's what you call order. That's what you call God's order. Mm -hmm. You know, because God ain't going to put you together, right? And then wait for y'all to get all mixed all up and messed all up. And, and God ain't put y'all together. And then after that, he said, okay, yeah, y'all supposed to be together. But y'all don't toy each other Without any confirmation first. You understand what I'm saying? God doesn't do that. He do everything in order first. He deals with you first. Deal with that individual first. Bring them together. When he brings them together, bam, they confirm it. They receive it. They accept it. They know it's God. And bam, now they court. And once they're caught, they are, they are courting to get ready, to get themselves ready for marriage with each other. Not based on trying to learn, uh, uh, as far as trying to see if this is God or not. No. You're going to know that way before you even get there. That's order. You but know, but even, not, not even with that, continue with to pray. Because sometimes we can be off. Sometimes you can yeah. miss God. Sometimes you can think it's God. And that's, that's why, why it was very important that I continue to pray. Right. Confirmation. And to continue to give me confirmation. Confirmation. God knows I he God knew I needed confirmation all the way to the altar. Yeah. That's yeah. just how I was yeah. making sure if this is really my husband that and I you know what God, God yeah. You know. So I continue to pray. So I'm not saying once God gives okay, right. you stop and you no no no. You continue to involve, God should be first. Continue, you should continue to talk to God, asking God, asking right. God for guidance, asking God. For what you say, baby, don't, 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 don't go over that one confirmation, keep going. Better, keep... What if God would have said, no, nah, that's, that's not him. Uh-uh, you missed the mark. <laughs> you Everything just... God does, he does in order. Right. When he, does, he doesn't fail when he connects people together. And when he connects them together... He doesn't, he doesn't say, okay, I'm playing. See, God don't play games with us. Right. So when he connects you together, his purpose and sole reason to connect you together is for holy matrimony in front of him. Because he connected you together. He is not going to allow both of you to not uh, get together and then both of you are doing it on your own ability. And for him to come in and say, okay, guess what? Now I'm here. Now here I go. Now I'm going to make this happen when he never really connected you together anyway. So everything God does, he does in order. He does it in order. That's just the way he is. And he, he will always send confirmation. Yeah, yeah, he will yeah, always yeah. send yeah. confirmation yeah. through yeah. people. Through, it's just, you just it was so to, many people that was happy for us. So you have to be very, yeah. very prayerful. Stay in prayer. Yep. And understand when God sends him, you will know it. Yeah. But continue to pray. Continue to keep God first. Continue God to was him her, to, to lead. Yeah. To lead and guide you. Yeah. Through everything, through yeah. the courtship, through the preparation for your wedding, through everything. The people that will be involved. So that's what it is that God was trying to tell you. You don't have I to mean. go and date here, date there, date right. everywhere. God is going to send. That's and right. you have to be in position to receive. Because if you're not in position, if everybody's in the way, he's not going to. Right. Don't, don't expect him to. Right. He wants you by yourself. By yourself, right. trusting him only. Right. Now you're giving him room right. to come. That's right. So that's what that's our perspective. That's our opinion. That's our experience. And it is our experience. Our, okay? our experience. So, yeah. So we love you guys. Again, thank you guys for the comments. Thank you for the encouraging words that you guys are giving us. Um, this is not easy for us, so we have to make sure that we go before God so we would know what to say. <laughs> We have to pray before we, you know, approach you guys with what we're going to say. And as some of you probably know, it's, this is not script. We don't have anything written down. We don't have anything behind the cameras trying to figure out what we're going to say next. Yeah. This is totally testimonial. Yeah. You can't lie with testimonial. Sure can. <laughs> so, There's something about that experience, so, man. You cannot lie with you, it. You can't go in certain orders. We just allow God to use us, yes. to flow through us, and to share what he has done in and through us in our relationship yeah. okay so we do love you guys we will continue to pray for you guys do not forget to like share and subscribe and until next time be you and keep it moving and keep it moving love you bye Bees. Bees. <laughs>